How to upload a file to Sonics. To upload a file to Sonics, you simply click on the upload button. Sonics accepts multiple file formats listed here for both audio and video. Sonics also accepts the following languages. You can upload a file by dragging and dropping the file into this quadrant, selecting it from your Dropbox account or your Google Drive account, or simply selecting it from your desktop, which is what I'm doing here. The green status bar shows the status of your upload. You can actually upload multiple files. I'm just going to add the same one again. You can see that this is uploaded as well, but I've decided I don't want this file, so I can easily remove that here. You can rename the file, and then you're ready to transcribe. The last thing is to make sure that language that you select is the language spoken in the audio or video file. In our case, it's English American, so we're good. And then you just hit start transcribing. From there, you're taken back to your home screen and you can see that this file appears and the status is also here. Right now, the file is preparing. It takes roughly five or six minutes for an hour of audio or video to transcribe. And once it's done, you'll be notified from Sonics. How to edit a file in Sonics. Just click on the file and you'll be taken to the transcript. It looks a lot like a word processor, but the big difference with Sonic's transcripts is that the audio is stitched to the text. So if you click anywhere in the transcript, you can hear the voice behind the words that are spoken. My name is Pete Combs, and I'm a reporter for KOMO, Como Radio in Seattle. I've been doing this for about 40 years, and my life has... This makes it super easy to edit your transcript and correct any errors. Now, there are tons of features around editing for your transcript, but in this tutorial, I'm only going to go through five key things. Number one, using heat map to locate problem areas. Two, Sonic's shortcut keys. Number three, find and replace. Number four, creating a new speaker. And five, highlighting and strike through. Using heat map to locate problem areas. If you click on the tiny thermometer, Sonics will highlight the areas that we aren't confident are correct. The lighter the text, the less confident we are, and the darker, the more confident we are. This allows you to navigate around the transcript and quickly fix up areas that look more problematic. Shortcut keys. If you click the shortcuts menu item in the top nav, it shows you all the shortcut keys that can help you speed up editing. An important shortcut key is tab. Tab allows you to stop and start the audio while editing. Find and replace. Find and replace does exactly what you'd expect it to do. You can find it under the edit dropdown, or you can simply click this icon. Enter the word you want replaced, then the word that you want it replaced with. Click replace all and you'll see a notification that shows how many times that word was changed. Creating a new speaker. If you have files with multiple speakers, you may run into issues where we don't separate speakers perfectly. That's not a problem. You can easily create a new speaker by clicking anywhere in the text. Say this was a new speaker here. Just click enter. And create a new speaker by entering it here. It's as simple as that. Highlighting and strike through. Highlighting and strike through are two features that are mostly used to prepare your file or sections of your file for export. 
To highlight a word, sentence, or paragraph, simply click on a word and hold and drag until you've captured the section you want. Then simply select the paintbrush. You'll see the highlight turns yellow, and Sonics also identifies the timestamps for the start and the end. You can also see the highlight in the progress bar, so it's easy to navigate to. Strike through works much the same way as the highlight. Simply select the area or paragraph you want to strike and click the strike through icon. The text that's been struck through is highlighted in red and it also appears in the progress bar. Organizing your files in Sonics. Your Sonics account operates in a similar way to Dropbox or Google Drive. We store all your audio, video, and transcripts. It's all part of the subscription fee. You can create, update, delete, and organize your files in any way you want. The first folder is called Shared With Me. This folder keeps all the files that have been shared with you by someone else. If you want to create a new folder, simply select New Folder. You can rename, move, or delete your folders. And you can drag and drop files inside of other folders. How to share a file in Sonics. You can easily share a file with another person so they can view the transcript. Just click Share. Here you have two options. You can copy this link and send it to anyone. But note that the recipient can only view the transcript. You can also enter someone's email address and select whether the recipient can view only or edit as well. There's also space here to write a personal note. Just click invite and they'll be invited to the transcript. How to export a file from Sonics. Exporting a file is simple. Just navigate to the file you want to export and click export. You can export your transcript, audio, or video in a variety of different ways. This makes it easy to get into your workflow quickly. First, you can export the transcript in text format into Microsoft Word or as a text file. And then you have several timestamp options. Include timestamps on every paragraph, include timestamps every 30 seconds, include milliseconds with the time code. You can also export with or without speaker names. And lastly, you can export just the highlighted section. You can also export the transcript into audio and video editing software like Adobe Edition, Adobe Premiere, and Final Cut Pro. If you want to include captions alongside your video, you can do that by exporting an SRT file. Lastly, you can export the audio from your file. And you have three options here. You can export the whole file, just the highlighted sections, or the audio with the strikethroughs removed.